linear expansion as the name suggests linear linear means lengthwise means whenever we are taking any solid which is having only its length means it is not having this much breadth it is not having this much height only length is there you can say thin rod is there or thin wire is there okay whenever i'm going to heat the thin rod or thin wire it is going to expand or it is going to increase its size so the length of the rod or the wire is going to increase on heating and this amount of the expansion depends upon the three factors this amount of expansion depends upon three factors what are that three factors firstly it is the original length what is the previous original length of the solid or the wire on this previous length it is also going to depend the thermal expansion accordingly the thermal expansion will be there second we are having rise in temperature how much temperature we are giving in order to thermal expansion or in order to show thermal expansion in that case also it is going to depend and thirdly it is going to depend upon nature of the solid material obviously different solid expand differently so it is also going to depend upon the nature of the solid material so now we will discuss about the coefficient of linear expansion might be this is very new for you coefficient coefficient means for example i am having the very thin rod this very thin rod i am having which is having original length that is l this rod is having original length that is l and whenever i am giving the heat or temperature to this rod after gaining the temperature or after gaining the heat there is a expansion in the length of the rod for example this expansion is delta l means firstly original length is l of the rod and after taking the heat now the after expansion delta l is the increase in the length of the rod okay and for example delta t is a temperature change in the length of the rod delta t means here change in temperature firstly this rod is at the normal room temperature but whenever i'm giving the heat to this length there, there is an increase in the length after taking the heat you can say delta t temperature is there or change in temperature is there of the rod so this increase in length of the rod is directly proportional or going to depend upon firstly on its original length then it is going to depend upon change in temperature whatsoever change in the length is there of the rod that is going to depend firstly on the original length of the rod secondly it is going to depend upon the amount of temperature or the change in temperature whatsoever we have given okay so but in numericals we are not using the directly proportional sign in that cases we are using the is equal to sign so in order to convert the directly proportional to the is equal to sign we have to use one kind of constant here so delta l is as such instead of directly proportional we are having the equals to sign but whenever we are converting directly proportional into the equal to sign we have to use one constant and here in order to use for the linear expansion i am using one constant is known as alpha alpha is nothing but a coefficient of linear expansion now clear what is alpha what is co coefficient of linear expansion so delta l is equals to alpha l delta t is as such this alpha is known as coefficient of linear expansion now i will tell you what is the definition of alpha what is the definition see carefully delta l is as such l delta t is multiply in that case it will go in divide is equal to alpha as such now see carefully what is the definition of alpha alpha is defined as change in the length of the rod per unit original length per degree rise in temperature definition clear from the formula that coefficient of the linear expansion is equals to change in the length of rod per unit original length per degree rise in temperature this is known as coefficient of the linear expansion clear so now we are having the si unit of coefficient of linear expansion what is the coefficient of linear expansion that is alpha okay so now i'm going to show that what is the si unit of alpha see carefully as we know alpha is equals to delta l over l delta t now i'm going to put the si units of all these values as we know here delta l means length what is the si unit of length si unit of length is meter over we are having l is also length length also as a unit is meter and delta t is what delta t is a change in temperature what is as a unit of temperature as a unit of temperature is kelvin clear so meter cut with meter these both units are going to cut with each other what we left with we left with 1 over kelvin 1 over kelvin you can also write it like per kelvin so what is the as a unit of alpha as a unit of alpha is per kelvin clear what is as a unit 